Hey guys, this is Vinny from Fuel Tech USA, and today on Tech Tuesday video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a switch panel on your Power FT using the FT Manager. So basically, the options that we have right now with Switch Panel Mini 4, Switch Panel Mini 5, and Switch Panel Mini 8 is the one that we're gonna be using. Uh, but if you carry one of the old models that we have, which is the regular uh, Big A, the setup is exactly the same. I'm gonna show you on the software as well. So uh, be, be comfort doing the setup, no matter if you have like the old discontinued ones or the new one models, it's gonna be the same. All right, so now that we're on like FT Manager, um, I'm gonna read the map from the ECU just to make sure I'm working with the current file. So yes, I'm reading the map. Uh, you're gonna need the switch panel and the ECU to be powered on. So you need 12 volts on both. And also the ECU you connect through the USB cable to your computer. You're gonna go to tools and can network. So you can see that the switch panel is already light up here. It doesn't have any buttons assigned, but at least it's connected over CAN, so you know that everything's good on that side. I'm gonna close this window here. Uh, we're gonna scroll down until sensors and calibrations. Then we're gonna see that we have the switch panel menu. Uh, again, we have switch panel eight, which is the discontinued uh, option that we had before. This is the same kind of setup. So we have the mini four, mini five, and the mini eight, which is the one that we're gonna be working on this video. So right now there's no buttons assigned. We're gonna go there and just like click on the button that you wanna assign. And we're gonna say here, for example, generic. We're gonna put generic outputs one through four. So one here, it's pretty useful to have uh, these buttons over here for any kind of uh, actuator that you wanna activate from the ECU. Uh, it will be logged on the uh, data logger as well. So it's pretty, pretty easy to troubleshoot if you're trying to make it work. So I'm just going through the list and here you can find all the options that you have for the, for the buttons on the switch panel. All right, so assign four generic outputs. I'm gonna do one right now as um, two step. I'm gonna also do um, engine start button and engine stop button on two different ones. So we have a better understanding how they work. And also I can do a three step just to finish the setup over here. So now all the buttons are assigned, but still you gotta go through the feature. You gotta go on the feature and select uh, how is the trigger for that specific function. So right now we have generic outputs, two step, engine start button, engine stop button, and three step. I'm gonna go straight to the generic outputs menu. So that's gonna be under auto functions, generic output. So I'm gonna be using one through four. I'm gonna select one, enable. And so here on the options, how you activate it, FT CAN 2.0, it already knows that's on the switch panel, eight and button one. So this is already set up. Uh, just make sure you wanna activate it as a, just holding down or as a toggle on and off and save. This one's good. We're gonna do the same for the other ones. So two. Again, you already know it's on number two. This one's gonna be uh, holding down button, um, save. Number three, it's already set up again. And number four, so we enable switch panel eight mini and in position number four. So for the generic outputs, it's pretty straightforward. That's pretty much what you have to do. Now we're gonna confirm. Go here and tap home, confirm. Just make sure anything will be will be in the software. Uh, the next one was two-step, so we gotta go in the two-step menu. Again, it's gonna be selected as FT CAN 2.0, switch panel, A mini, position five, so this one's good as well. Three steps not enabled, so if you select a, f a feature on the switch panel that's not enabled, you need to search for it under map options. So we're gonna have to enable three-step under drag race features. If you click on top of the name, you send you direct to the menu. And uh, this one is a three step button and it's already pre-assigned for uh, either a analog input or for the switch panel. You don't have to change anything on the menu. Just make sure it's, it's enabled. We're gonna confirm as well. And we also have engine start and stop button. You can see that under other functions, you don't have that feature enable again we gotta go to map options start button right here click on top of the name 
and we will send it straight to the menu. So on this case, uh, again, external button has to be enabled and there's no other uh, settings that you have to do. You already know either it's gonna be analog input or a switch panel, so it's preset for both. Uh, and the last option was the three step, which I already did. Two steps is done, engine start and stop is done, and all the generic uh, outputs. I'm just gonna confirm one more time that everything's over there still. Like I said, all the generic outputs and the other buttons that I select. So just hit confirm and just to make sure that everything is pre-assigned, go to tools, can network, switch panel 8 mini. Since I didn't write the ECU yet, the, the assignment is not sent to the ECU. So just gonna show you guys over here, go to home, write ECU, and now the switch panel will light up because all the settings are on the ECU and also on the switch panel. So you can take a look at the CAN network again, switch panel mini, now we have everything assigned here. So you already know everything is good to go. And if you wanna make sure everything is working fine, you can stay on the CAN network options uh, on the CAN network menu and press the buttons on the switch panel. So I press just one now, two, three, four, I'm gonna press five, six, seven, and eight. And you see that they all recognize the signal from the button, so everything's good here. You can also go to home, and if you go to the diagnostic panel, you're gonna see over CAN network that we have all the buttons assigned as well. So the setup's pretty much complete. From now on, you just can um, go straight, use it. You don't need to restart anything. Uh, you're also gonna have the feedback on the log, and also on the diagnostic panel on the ECU, it's gonna show you uh, what's the status on the switch panel. And like I said, they're all the same, no matter uh, if you have the A, Mini 4, Mini 5, or Mini 8, they all work exactly the same. So like you can see, the switch panels already light up and every button had it, has its own light. So when it's on is one, is another, when it's off is another one. So on the case here, we have a uh, generic output on top and then I have two step, two uh, start button, engine stop, and also three step. If I press the generic button, it goes to green when it's on, it stays uh, white when it's off, and switch panel here, you change the color as well, start button, the same situation, but they all have their own uh, lights and they all colors for different features. And there's not something that you can change, this is predefined on the software, so once you're like getting used to the features, you're gonna see if it's on and off just looking at the color. This is a brand new switch panel. We don't have the stickers on the buttons as well. You're gonna receive a sheet with the, all the stickers that you, you, we have available. So it's gonna be like on off, um, nitros, fuel pump, and other options that you can stick to the button. And then you know where you're pressing. That's very important. Make sure you got everything correct. As far as mounting positions, uh, the switch panel has two studs in the back and you can just um, use nuts to attach to like a row cage, to a dash. Remember, don't over torque the studs because it will rip from the from the switch panel and we were gonna, it's gonna ruin the, the product. Uh, and also make sure that 12 volts that you're using for the for the switch panel is coming as the same 12 volts from the ECU. Don't share with any actuator, coils, injectors, anything like that because it's gonna hurt the switch panel. And that's pretty much how you set up everything, how you mount all the all the features that you need to know about the switch panel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more tips. And we're here to help. If you have any questions, just reach back to us. Thank you. See you guys next time.